As you can see, riders now all on the grid, getting ready to open up their first race of round two of the weekend. And uh, all look into the lights, getting ready to go. Getting ready to send it down to turn one. It's Finley Polhill versus Austin Johnson off the line. Who gets it? It is Finley Polhill. Gets a good start. Austin Johnson still in second place. Great start there from Finley. You can see he's already got himself a couple of bike lengths between himself and Austin Johnson. Yeah, brilliant start there for, uh, for Finley Polhill. Uh, from pole position, maintains that lead. So, yeah, brilliant stuff from him. Uh, looks like we have an off there um, in uh, turn five. Uh, rider up and okay and looks like he's going to try and get that bike restarted and rejoin the race but it's all about uh, Finley Polehill at the front at the moment who's just edged out a little bit of a lead uh, over Johnson just behind him. Yep, of course uh, Finley Polehill picking up race one uh, and uh, doing it in style in fact with uh, an over 12 second uh, win margin so yeah Finley uh, can get on it if he, if he wants to and uh, you can see he's doing very nicely indeed already over this opening lap who's got almost a second's lead over the chasing pack so great start from Finley Polehill as he looks to pick up a second win of the weekend here at Lid. Yeah, very different to scenes to what we were seeing yesterday. It looked as if uh, Austin Johnson was the one uh, with the pace yesterday that no one could catch. Uh, but at the moment, it's Finley Polehill who's, uh, who's pulling away from Austin. So it'll uh, be interesting to see if Austin can close that gap back in and we can have a battle for the lead. Um, but at the moment, no one can catch Finley Polehill. No, absolutely not. Finley has had a rocket of a start. And we'll see if he can hold on to this gap that he's slowly start starting to build. And you can see behind Austin Johnson uh, coming under threat from Harrison Day and uh, Byron Johnson as well. So, uh, yet yeah, the three of them all battling over second in the class whilst uh, Freddie Bridewell tries to get involved in this and make it a four-way fight for second. But this is allowing Finley Polehill to stretch that lead out of the front. So it's been a perfect start for Finley, a perfect start to the day as he looks for picking up a second, uh, second victory in the season calendar so far you can see Austin Johnson getting a slow exit out of the second hairpin but just about managing to get on the power and getting that bike straightened up yeah these riders battling for second need to be really careful about how much they're scrapping because it will just let uh, Finley Polehill uh, get away uh, he, uh, he he is putting a nice consistent pace down so uh, if these guys start playing around with each other too much uh, it will let Finley Polehill get away even more yeah, and this is something that we were talking about during round one yesterday of these riders learning to, uh, to work with each other to close in on that breakaway leader. And, uh, of course, you can see that intense battle for, for second. And, uh, of course, they're all racers. They all want to pick up the best results. But when you've got someone breaking away and, and starting to make a, a pretty healthy gap, it's all about using each other to uh, not really fight getting and, uh, and uh, moving back up the field and closing in on, on, on Finley Polehill, who's now stretching that lead out to uh, well over two and a half seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Already uh, coming up to a little bit of lapped traffic are these guys. I think perhaps just a, a little bit of a, a start, uh, a problem at the beginning of the race for that rider. Perhaps it was the rider that went down uh, earlier on. Um, but all nice and swiftly done for these guys, of course, learning all the time, learning how to deal with back markers uh, and learning, of course, like we were just talking about, to work with each other uh, to try and catch a rider breaking away like uh, Finley Polehill. It does look like they've closed him down a little bit now. That gap's come down considerably from uh, uh, almost two and a half seconds to eight tenths of a second now. So it looks like we're going to have a battle for the lead here uh, at Lid. Yep. Five laps left to go in this one, so uh, plenty of time for positions to change. And Finley Polhill having a, a, a weaker end to that last lap and has been reeled in by the chasing pack of now Byron Johnson in second. Austin Johnson uh, now back to third. So Byron Johnson moving up past Harrison Day and Austin Johnson in the last lap and a half. So it's been a strong end to the uh, last two laps for Byron. And uh, he's closing in on Finley as they come into the infield hairpin section. And uh, the three riders all together. And it's going to be a close one over the last couple of laps. You can see Byron Johnson really starting to put the pressure on Finley now. So Finley, after that healthy lead to start with, is now going to ultra defensive mode. And uh, what that will do is just slow you up. And you can see the position has changed. And coming across the line, it looks as though Byron Johnson has now jumped up into the lead of this one. So it's been a great move from him in fourth position just two and a half laps ago. Now finds himself in the lead. Yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff from Byron. We saw, we saw how fast he was yesterday. Uh, he did pick up uh, a podium yesterday, so uh, uh, yes, for, for him to be on the pace is, uh, is, is a great sign. He's uh, quite, con quite a bit quicker than Finley Polehill on that last lap with a 102.3. Uh, Austin Johnson 
uh, also looking very menacing. So Finley might uh, fall into the clutches of Austin uh, as well on this lap. So Finley now needs to sort of regroup, um, uh, study Byron a little bit and find a way past and make sure he's uh, not dropped by these guys. Uh, obviously, you're, you're well versed in, uh, in bike riding. It's something that you do, uh, do a lot. But if you're in position, you see there is a change for a second position. Austin Johnson getting past Finley Polehill. So Finley now back to third. So Finley started this race with a big lead, uh, well over two and a half seconds. He's now been reeled in and has dropped down to third. So what does that do to a driver mentally? Do you, is it all about recovering and getting back on it? Because, of course, he's now seeing both Byron and Austin Johnson starting to move away. He's already see the, the gap is stretching out. So it's the, the two Johnsons at the front. So how, where does Finley need to improve to close back in and challenge for that lead? It's, uh, it's always a little bit demoralising when, you know, when, you, when you've set out a good consistent pace and, uh, and some riders have, have managed to catch you up and get their way past. Uh, but he needs to sort of uh, just keep, just stay focused, uh, make sure he's hitting his markers, doing what he needs to be doing and uh, keeping with these guys. Uh, these guys are clearly, they've got a good pace uh, and they're setting a really good consistent rhythm. So uh, Finley, Finley will do well to just try and uh, upset their rhythm a little bit um, you know, and, and get amongst them. As uh, Finley has closed in a little bit as Austin Johnson looks to the inside into the infield hairpin section. In fact, hits the curb and that almost sends him off the bike and uh, costs him a little bit of time there. And that's going to allow Finley a little bit of an impetus to uh, close in. But Austin just taking the apex a little bit too tight, getting on these very aggressive curbs here at Lid. And uh, in fact, you know, he's straight back on it and he's alongside going into turn one. Who's going to get it into the corner? It is still Byron Johnson that holds on to this one. But uh, yeah, Austin, even after that slight wobble, straight back on the power, straight back into it and even challenging for the lead two corners later. Absolutely, and Finley as well responding on that lap, matching the pace of these guys. In fact, slightly quicker uh, than both of them on that last lap. So uh, brilliant stuff from, uh, from Finley to be able to regroup. Like we were just saying, uh, regroup and, uh, and stick with these guys. But it is, at the moment, it's the two Johnsons uh, battling it out at the front, and Finley is just watching. I think he's just biding his time a little bit uh, and waiting to find a way past here at Lid for round two of the Fab Racing uh, AC40 Rookies Championship. A great little battle in sixth and seventh at the moment between Oliver Hall and Lewis Hull battling and swapping places over that top six place and it is currently Oliver Hall that's managed to make his way up into sixth. Those two split by less than a tenth of a second across the line as uh, Lewis Hull will be looking at picking up uh, the position but I believe that's Austin Johnson that's just gone down the inside and up into the lead of this one as we go into the final lap. So great lap there, great lap there from Austin to close back in and take the line and got the perfect launch out the final corner and uh, takes the lead onto the last lap. Yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff there from Austin. He waited till the last lap, uh, made a move, and now he's going to make sure he's covering all his lines and making sure there's no way through uh, for Byron. Uh, Finley as well uh, there in third place is going to going to be looking to get to uh, have a good at these guys, uh, but of course uh, a little little bit of a gap at the moment that he needs to close in. Uh, these guys we saw very strong on the infield section, uh, so Finley's going to do well to try and uh, have a good look at them there. But I think all uh, all riders just a little bit too much. Uh, a bit too much of a gap between each of these riders at this at the moment. Uh, so as they come through the infield section, it still is uh, Austin Johnson that's leading this one. It looks like he's got his lines covered beautifully and no way through at the moment uh, for any of the riders behind him. And that is uh, Austin Johnson that takes the win here for a race one of round two here at Lid, the Fab Racing uh, Mini Bike Championships. Uh, in Lid. Race 1 for the AC40 rookies goes to Austin Johnson ahead of Byron Johnson and Finley Polehill who led at the beginning of the race finishing in third on the number 199. Harrison Day did pick up fourth place and Freddie Bridewell that familiar name uh, in fifth. Yeah, fantastic race there from both Austin and Byron Johnson. And I'm sure Finley Polehill, uh, another podium, so he's got to be happy with that. As uh, across the line does come uh, Oliver Hall and Travis Shaw split by a, a very, very small amount there. So uh, Oliver Hall falling back a little bit, being caught up by Travis Shaw. Uh, we've still got a couple of riders to finish. They're still out on circuit as Chloe Saul comes across the line in ninth and she picks up a top ten place. Zach Panagar is the uh, last one to come across the line and uh, yeah but it's another once again it's the third race win of the weekend here for Austin Johnson he wins uh, with a three tenth margin over Byron Johnson in second Finley Polehill in third the 199 rider Harrison Day in fourth with Freddie Bridewell in fifth place Lewis Hull in fifth with Oliver Hall in 
six, uh, uh, sorry, Lewis Howard in sixth, Oliver Hall in seventh, Travis Shaw in eighth, Chloe Sewell in ninth, and Zach Penegar rounding out the top ten. And one familiar face that will be uh, looking over this, uh, looking, watching this championship uh, will be uh, BSB rider Tommy Bridewell. His nephew, Freddie Bridewell, was lining up on this, uh, on this grid for his first race weekend uh, of the season uh, ever. So uh, we saw some, uh, some good results from him yesterday uh, and uh, definitely one to watch for the future. Uh, leading this championship though, Finley Polehill. He lines up on pole position. You see there with the bright orange bike and the white helmet. Uh, he's your pole man for this race. Austin Johnson, we saw take uh, some tremendous wins yesterday. He lines up in second place uh, ahead of Harrison Day, uh, who's on the second row of the grid in third spot, and Byron Johnson in fourth. Freddie Bridewell, who we were just talking about, is fifth on the grid ahead of Oliver Hall and, uh, and uh, Lewis Hull in the seventh place. Travis Shaw uh, on the uh, eighth spot of the grid ahead of Ollie O'Gorman, brother of Casey O'Gorman, who we saw earlier on today, uh, ahead of the number 101. Uh, of Chloe Sewell and uh, Zach Penegar rounding out the grid. All eyes to the lights then, and they're away. A brilliant start from Finley Polehill, your pole man, and uh, Austin Johnson just slots uh, into second place. Nice clean getaway for all of these riders. So uh, brilliant stuff from all of these guys. All these guys in uh, their first season of racing, and uh, they'll have uh, completed their first round yesterday and uh, into their second round of racing today. All these guys will be looking to move up to the AC40 Pros uh, when they are deemed good enough all these bikes uh, blatter 40 cc engines they all have to run uh, the same blatter engine with a restrictor plate fitted to the exhaust to keep everything fair and keep uh, these bikes under a controllable speed for these new riders yeah absolutely so but it's Finley Polehill uh, that leads away Austin Johnson closing in very very early on we saw Austin Johnson take a couple of commanding victories in fact takes the lead gets a much better drive through the second hairpin. So up into the lead of this one goes Austin Johnson. And uh, as I it wonder was if Finley Polehill's just struggling a little bit there because he seemed quite wide out of that hairpin and that's what let Austin Johnson through. Uh, and now he's dropping back quite a bit. And we know uh, that Finley Polehill definitely has the pace. Uh, but like, like we've said before, Austin Johnson uh, does seem to have some superior, some superior pace on this grid. Yep, as, uh, so it is Austin Johnson across the line. Finley Pole, as you say, possibly a little bit slow out of that last, uh, last part of the lap. He's dropped to second. Freddie Bridewell finds himself in third place. Byron Johnson, who's finished on the podium a couple of times in fourth. Harrison Day, uh, and that's the name you might have heard of before, in fifth place. Uh, Oliver Hall back in sixth. Travis Shaw in seventh. Lewis Hull in eighth. Uh, Ollie O'Gorman back in ninth. And uh, Chloe Sewell rounding out the top ten. Yeah, brilliant clean riding for all these riders. We're just looking uh, at the white bike of uh, Freddie Bridewell at the moment, uh, currently in third position. He has picked up a podium uh, earlier on in this race, uh, but he's looking to try and find another one now. Uh, Johnson is then, who's uh, leading across the line, extends his... Actually, no, Finley Polehill does seem to be slightly closer on this. It was 0.7 last time, and it's 0.6 now, so uh, any problems Finley Polehill was having in that first lap He's uh, recovering from now and uh, hunting down uh, Austin Johnson. The top three uh, all in uh, the 102s. Freddie Bridewell now dropping down to fourth place uh, with a 103 flat. So some quite close racing at the front of this race, especially considering a lot of, this guy, a lot of these guys are absolutely completely uh, new to the sport. Yeah, absolutely so. And uh, Byron Johnson with the fastest lap of the race there, 1027. Two tenths of a second faster than Austin Johnson leading. So uh, Byron Johnson on the push to uh, close in on Finney Polehill and uh, Austin Johnson. Of course, Byron dropping down a little bit further after the start, but you can see the uh, battles are still going on. I believe that's a change for second place there with Byron Johnson moving up past Finley Polehill. So uh, we've now got the two Johnsons leading and in the first and second, uh, but it is still Austin that will be coming around and we'll see what the fastest laps are because it looks as though Byron is enjoying this uh, second race so far and across the line. It is Byron Johnson, in fact, smashing the time. A 101.4, he's a second faster than anyone else on circuit at the moment. Seems like we have a rider who stopped at the final corner. Rider OK, uh, just a technical problem for that rider. So that's uh, another lesson learned for that rider. Uh, unfortunately, this is something that riders are going to have to come up uh, and face uh, in their, right through their career. So uh, 
Uh, he's just learning the frustration uh, of that uh, unfortunate scenario at the moment. But it's the two Johnsons out front at the moment. Finley Polhill dropping back slightly in third place. You can see there on the, on the bright orange bike. And almost a change for the lead there. Uh, as uh, the Johnsons nearly uh, swapped positions there, Byron looking really menacing. He came out the, uh, don't know what he's had for breakfast, Gareth, but he looked really menacing in this uh, in the first race earlier on today. Uh, and that's uh, the rider rejoining the race uh, there. But it's all about these two at the front at the moment, the two Johnsons battling out at the front. They've got a hefty lead now over Finley Polhill. Now down into the 101s, both uh, identical, almost identical times there for the two Johnsons. 101.704 for Austin and 101.705 for Byron. So these two very equally matched at the moment. So it uh, will be very intriguing to see uh, who's which Johnson could come out on top at the end of this race. Austin Johnson uh, it is who took uh, two race wins yesterday and will be looking to make that a third today. Yeah, Byron Johnson uh, doing the the lovely uh, the double lap, one on the inside, one on the outside, and I'm sure the uh, the lap rider was uh, not paying attention, not really hoping to see that happen, but down the inside and into the race lead goes Byron Johnson. Austin's going to try and come back at him, but it's, uh, you can see Byron takes the tighter line and gets a good run out of the second hairpin in the infield and up into the lead of this one. So it's been a great race so far for Byron Johnson. Now takes the lead with, uh, as we come up to three laps left to go, they've completely dropped Finley Polehill. And we've got Byron Johnson and Austin Johnson uh, battling over the lead of this one, but it's Byron Johnson the just does the fastest lap of the race of 101.351. So half a second faster than Austin Johnson. Uh, they are currently uh, two seconds a lap faster than anyone else in circuit. Yeah, really ex impressive stuff uh, from the two uh, Johnsons with about two and a half laps to go of this race. Absolutely fighting it out at the front. Uh, Byron absolutely has definitely slept well because he's, uh, he's come out of the gates this morning and uh, he's performing brilliantly today. Uh, we saw he was strong yesterday, but today he's really come into his own as they make their way uh, through uh, one of the back miles. That's Chloe Sewell uh, that they just make their way through there. Um, nice and cleanly done. Uh, Chloe also doing a brilliant job there down in eighth place on the number 101. A little bit of a gap is emerging now uh, as the riders make their way through lap traffic. Byron Johnson just edging out a gap now uh, as we go on to uh, we go on to start the penultimate lap uh, of this AC40 rookies race. Uh, the second race of the day uh, for these guys. And uh, Byron Johnson, the only rider to be consistently, consistently in the 101s for the entirety of this one. So, uh, yeah, really enjoying this race so far. And he'll be looking for... Who's that? Is that Austin that's Johnson? One, that's, that's one of the Johnsons down. Can't make out which one that is. Just being helped there by uh, uh, one of the marshals there. And he's back into this race. Both Johnsons look too similar. Can't tell which one's which. I think that's Austin I think Johnson. That's, that's Byron Johnson in the lead then. Uh, so very unfortunate stuff. He's managed to rejoin, hopefully, uh, in a decent position for him with uh, one and a half laps to go of this race. There is then the number uh, 37 leading this one. Byron, uh, Byron Johnson currently leading this one, I think. Yeah, Byron Johnson is coming around the, uh, the final corner to start his last lap of the race. Uh, he sees the, uh, the yellow flag with the black cross in it and uh, he can just control this one. No threat from behind, a quick look behind to see if Austin is there, but not at all. Austin has dropped all the way down to fifth place after that. You can see how frustrated he was, just punching the air as he slipped off the circuit, straight back on the bike, but uh, yeah, dropping down the order. And that promotes, of course, uh, Freddie Bridewell up into third place, so that'll be a second podium for Freddie Bridewell in his first, uh, first weekend of racing. Yep, and uh, Freddie Bridewell being followed home by uh, Harrison Day. Uh, those two split by six tenths of a second so uh, Harrison Day not willing to give up on a potential podium but he's going to push hard over this last lap but it's going to be uh, Byron Johnson that's going to take what looks like a huge huge win his first of the uh, the weekend his first of the season and uh, he's finished second a number of times and uh, he's going to come across the line very shortly and pick up his first win of the season here in the AC40 rookie class Byron Johnson across the line with a first win on the season. Massive, massive race from him. Absolutely blistering pace. Uh, Finley Polehill comes home in second. It's going to be close across the line between Freddie Bridewell and Harrison Day. But it is Freddie Bridewell that holds on to it by uh, three tenths of a second. Harrison Day in fourth. Uh, then it 
we've got Austin Johnson for dropping back behind. Oh, Austin Johnson does come home in, in fifth place. Uh, it was Oliver Hall that was a lap down. But good for Johnson to be able to recover and, uh, and pick up some points in fifth place. That'll still be good points uh, for the championship for him. And, uh, and of course, all these riders trying to rack up as many points uh, as they can to, uh, to reach the, the amount of points they need to reach to be able to move up into the AC40 Pros as the next step uh, in their careers. But uh, a brilliant weekend of learning for all these riders. Uh, and that's your top ten confirmed on the screen. Byron Johnson it was that took the win. Absolutely brilliant day for him so far from Finley Polehill in second place. Uh, Freddie Bridewell it was then that took third place just ahead of uh, Harrison Day. Austin Johnson after that crash, crash managed to pick up fifth spot ahead of the, the number four uh, Travis Shaw. Uh, Ollie Gorman in seventh. Chloe Saul picking up eighth on the number 101. Uh, Zach Penegar in ninth. And Lewis Hull rounding out your top ten. Oliver Hall in 11th spot on the number three rounding out the race. Yep, fantastic race there from Byron Johnson. Just really, really turned it on, especially in the mid part of the race. And you could see uh, just considerably faster than anyone else. It was only really his last lap where you can tell he just turned it down a little bit and uh, I mean, came home with a comfortable uh, almost seven second lead over Finley Pohill. Finley though picking up another decent haul of points, another podium for the, uh, the rider on the fluoro orange bike, the number 199. And Freddie Bridewell, another podium for him. Unfortunately, Harrison Day, uh, not quite close enough to, uh, to push for that podium, but uh, Harrison getting much closer, and I'm sure we'll see in race three him take the fight for the podium positions. Austin Johnson, I'm sure, will, uh, will have a point to prove in race three this afternoon. Uh, you could see just how frustrated he was as he came off momentarily, just, just punching the air, so frustrated, but it immediately switched back on, back on the bike and uh, back into fifth position. So uh, damage limitation, Austin Johnson uh, back in fifth place. Up to the uh, P1 position does come Finley Polehill, the uh, 199. Alongside him will be the 27. It looks as though that might be Chloe Sewell, I believe the number 10, uh, the number 101, sorry, uh, who is meant to be lining up in 10th position. I believe she may be suffering with a bike issue uh, towards the uh, second sector of the lap. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that sorted and uh, we'll see if uh, she can get herself back onto row five for the start of this one. However, it will be Finley Polehill from Austin Johnson. Harrison Day in a good position in third with Byron Johnson. Watch him in the, uh, in the conditions from fourth place. Freddie Bridewell back in fifth. Oliver Hall in sixth. Lewis Hull seventh. Travis Shaw eighth. Ollie O'Gorman. Uh, Chloe Sewell if she can make the start. And Zach Penegar in 11th position. And it looks like uh, Chloe Saul won't be participating in this race. The number 101, uh, unfortunately, uh, has to uh, uh, retire from this race before it's even started. So uh, DNS for Chloe Saul. So very uh, unfortunate uh, for her as we wait uh, for this race to get underway. Yep. And it will be Finley Bowhill looking to add to his wins that he's picked up so far this weekend. But uh, watch out once again for the likes of Austin Johnson and Byron Johnson. Harrison Day will be looking at picking up a decent result. And uh, you can see the riders are about to uh, get going. So, yeah, it's a good start, it seems, there for uh, is that Austin Johnson that's managed to take the lead. Uh, Finley Polehill, I believe Finley Polehill, didn't manage to get off the line properly. He seems to be right down the back end of the grid. Yeah, so a brilliant start there for Freddie Bridewell to take uh, the lead in this opening lap. Uh, Finley Polehill struggling there. You can see him right at the back. You see the, fer the fluorescent uh, orange bike right at the back uh, of this pack. Uh, and we're seeing a rider uh, unable to, uh, to finish. That's Harrison Day. That's uh, uh, Josh Day's son there. Unfortunately, not able to, uh, uh, to finish this race at the moment and struggling with some issues. Hopefully, uh, they can get him back uh, up and running. Yeah, the bike just coming to a standstill there for Harrison Day. However, up at the front, it's a, a great start for a, a number of riders, in fact. And we'll, uh, we'll find out when they get to the line. Uh, if uh, we see Austin Johnson, uh, looks as though he's currently uh, dropped behind Byron Johnson. Uh, so Byron, once again, for another good start. Just and, see uh, the, uh, the marshals running there uh, across the track to come and help... Uh, come and help Harrison Day try and get started and you can see Josh Day there uh, just talking to him with his hood up there and trying to get uh, help his son get back uh, underway and racing 
Chloe Saul still uh, still out of this race. Uh, Freddie Bridewell it is though that leads across the line uh, for the first time of asking. And uh, really impressed, Gareth, uh, how these guys are taking to these conditions. You can see uh, they're carrying a good bit of leading angle, really actually finding the grip uh, in this race, uh, considering a lot of them, uh, or if not all of them, won't have ridden in wet weather conditions before. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see the rain has stopped, and there's a, a, a little bit of a drying line, of course, uh, just the track getting a little bit more greasy and less standing water. But Freddie Brightwell, a mega start. You can see 2.6 seconds. Sorry, three of press Byron there Jackson. going uh, into the right hand of these. Uh, these riders aren't shy, despite it being uh, their, some of their first weekend of recent racing. Uh, these are getting these riders are getting well versed uh, in the uh, uh, in this sport. So Freddie Bridewell, you can see see still with a hefty lead. It was 2.6 seconds uh, over the line, but it looks like the Johnsons uh, are on a charge. Uh, as well now just behind uh, so yeah brilliant stuff and then Philip Hill you can see now uh, seeming to recover you can see there uh, on the uh, bright orange livery bike just making a move or trying to make a move there into the final corner so he's on a charge trying to make up uh, for that poor start to the race yeah absolutely so but it is Freddie Bridewell that leads us across the line by a 2.8 second gap over Byron Johnson Oliver Hall making his way up into third fastest lap of the race goes to Finley Polehill in fact he's absolutely blitzed five seconds faster than anyone else so Finley on a charge uh, the 199 machine and uh, he's currently in fifth place closing in on Lewis Hull in fourth place and Oliver Hall in third really impressive from uh, Finley Paul Hill really taking to these uh, wet weather conditions and uh, just able to find grip that no one else is finding at the moment and he's trying to make a move uh, on the far end of the circuit uh, for uh, fourth place there uh, underneath Lewis Hull uh, doesn't quite make it stick just yet he's still really uh, really trying to make a move there but uh, Lewis Hull is trying to make a few moves himself as he tries to go around the outside there and does make it stick that's uh, there's they just come up uh, to uh, lap some uh, lap traffic there I believe that's Travis Shaw uh, just uh, being lapped there by these guys Freddie Bridewell it still is then that leads 2.8 uh, second gap over Byron Johnson uh, who won race one in third place is the number three of Oliver Hall at the moment uh, the number five in fourth spot Lewis uh, Hull just trying to fend off Finley Polehill at the moment but you can see Polehill uh, has made his way through now so he's uh, trying his next target uh, is Byron Johnson so Philly Polehill up into third spot a uh, 115.6 on that last lap still the fastest rider on circuit at the moment and still with the fastest lap uh, of the race he's trying to go around the outside and does he makes it stick up into this cane so, so Finley Polehill uh, up into second position now so brilliant stuff uh, from Finley after recovering uh, after a difficult start to this race is absolutely turning his race around and he's got his sights set on Freddie Bridewell now three second gap uh, from Freddie uh, to, uh, to Byron it was on the, uh, over the line uh, but what can Finley do about that lead uh, we've seen how, uh, how fast Finley uh, is running in this race but uh, yeah and you can visibly see uh, that that gap to Freddie now is really coming down and we see a crash there turn 12 um, it takes another victim there uh, I believe that was Lewis Hull going down there uh, turn 12 so uh, unfortunate for him turn 12 takes another victim uh, as we've seen so many times today uh, so unfortunate end for the race uh, for him but uh, Finley Polehill is who's absolutely on a charge trying to catch Freddie Bridewell and Freddie Bridewell responds with the fastest lap of the race but Finley Polehill sets a blistering lap on that last lap a 111.8 so really finding finding some pace here uh, absolutely flying at the moment and will find his way past uh, Freddie Bridewell three laps to go here for these guys so plenty of time for and Freddie Bridewell goes down and nearly takes Polehill with him so Bridewell trying to get back on that bike and they're trying to get restarted He's uh, in third position still at the moment, but he needs to get that bike restarted before he can uh, restart this race. So uh, Finley Polehill taking uh, the uh, the race lead after Freddie Bridewell crashes out. Freddie Bridewell is back underway in this race, so we'll be looking to try and uh, uh, absolutely uh, limit the damage 
that uh, he's suffered from that crash. He's shaking his head, absolutely disappointed with that from himself. But uh, this is something the rider's going to have to learn. Crashes do happen, Gareth, uh, and it is going to be something that they're going to have to get used to. Absolutely so. And we're, we're coming round with two laps to go. And Finley Polehill has been on fire for the last few laps. And, uh, yeah, Freddie Brywell will be absolutely devastated with that. Was in a, a really strong position. Finley Polehill was starting to close in. But, uh, yeah, Finley now drops down. Uh, now, yeah, moves up into the lead uh, pretty comfortably as uh, Freddie Bridewell will... Uh, We'll be hoping to uh, recover some uh, some lost places. Byron Johnson moving up into second place, and that should promote Lewis Hull if into a, uh, a current podium place for uh, for the number five rider. But Finley Polehill is uh, is definitely the rider that is enjoying these conditions. And after a slow start, uh, Finley making his way through the field, and you can say just finding the grip where no one else has managed to find it, and uh, comfortably setting some really strong laps. In fact, Lewis Hull on that last lap, two seconds faster than Finley Bowhill. So uh, Lewis Hull starting to uh, pick up a little bit of pace. We've got a lap and a half left to go in this one. It looks as though uh, Finley has uh, got a comfortable lead. It's a seven and a half second gap. He's got over Byron Johnson in a second. Byron Johnson once again looking at picking up a really strong result uh, when he's had a really good day today. And we're about to finish off uh, the AC40 rookie class race three here round two in Lid. And uh, it is looking like Finney Polehill. If all goes to plan over the uh, next kilometer and a little, well, kilometer and a bit, uh, and uh, he will be looking at taking as he takes the uh, the last lap flag there. Finney Polehill will know just one more tour around this circuit, and he'll be able to pick up another victory uh, in the AC40 rookie class. And it's been a masterful drive from him, uh, just so commanding, so clear, just to make his way back through the field and just make overtakes as and when they uh, became apparent and uh, yeah it's been a great great ride there for Finley and uh, if all goes well he was uh, as he approaches the uh, long hairpin at the back end of the circuit he uh, he should be coming home to pick up another victory on the season and an uh, absolutely well deserved one from the uh, the rider and the fluoro orange bike and uh, he is uh, really look at that gap 9.6 seconds he's now got himself between uh, first and second Byron Johnson so Finley Polehill uh, doing very, very nicely indeed. Of course, we've seen in the past, it's, uh, it closes up right at the last, but Lewis Hull, in fact, is on the push on this last lap. Closed in to within half a second of Byron Johnson. He's got a really good run on him down the back straight, and uh, it's going to be close between the pair of them going down into the infield hairpin section. Lewis Hull looking at picking up a podium, and he's going to push Byron Johnson right to the very last. There's almost contact between the two, and in fact, it looks as though Lewis Hull might have just been bounced off a little bit, but it's around the final corner across. Across the line comes Finley Polehill for the victory. What a win for the young man, the 199. Byron Johnson is looking as though he's going to come home in second place, adding to his points tally. And um, probably a frustrated Lewis Hull in third, but a great podium for the number five. Austin Johnson, the 27, is uh, back in fourth place and a little bit further down. But uh, Austin Johnson still picking up some solid points in the championship. Uh, Freddie Bridewell uh, should recover back to fifth place. So even after that fall, he, in fact, he drops down to sixth. So Zach Panagar picking up a good uh, result there. Started last on the, uh, on the grid in 11th place. And Zach Panagar coming home in fifth. So uh, some, some good points there for the 134, Zach Penegar. and uh, But the, uh, the man of the moment is very much Finley Polehill.